Sugar Snow. Once upon a time, a little girl named Laura lived in the big woods of Wisconsin in a little house made of logs. Laura lived in the little house with her pa, her ma, her big sister Mary, her baby sister Carrie, and their good old bulldog, Jack. Spring was coming to the big woods. For days the sun shone and the weather was warm. All day the icicles fell, one by one, from the little house into the snow banks. Then one day, Laura saw a patch of ground showing through the snow. May I go out to play, Ma? she asked. You may tomorrow, Ma promised. That night, Laura woke up shivering. Her nose was icy cold. Ma tucked another quilt around her. Snuggle close to Mary, Ma said, and you'll get warm. In the morning, Laura looked out the window, and the ground was covered with soft, thick snow. Pa came in, stamping the soft snow from his boots. It's a sugar snow, he said. Laura quickly tasted a snowflake from Pa's sleeve, but it didn't taste like sugar at all. Why is it a sugar snow, Pa? she asked. Pa said he would explain tonight after he came home from Grandpa's. It was late when Pa came home that night. He came in with a big bucket and two little packages. He gave the bucket to Ma and the little packages to Laura and Mary. The bucket was full of dark brown maple syrup. When Laura opened her little package, she found a little hard brown cake with beautifully crinkled edges. Laura bit off one little crinkle, and it was sweet. It's maple sugar, said Pa. Supper was ready, and Laura and Mary laid their little maple sugar cakes by their plates while they ate the maple syrup on their bread. After supper, Pa took them on his knees as he sat by the fire and told them about his day at Grandpa's and the sugar snow. All winter, Pa said, Grandpa has been making wooden buckets for the maple syrup. When the first warm weather came, he took the buckets out into the woods and put each one by a maple tree. Then he drilled a small hole in the tree so that the sap could run out. After all the buckets were full, he boiled all the sap in a big iron kettle until it turned into maple syrup. Then he cooled some of that sweet syrup into cakes of hard brown maple sugar. Is that why it's called a sugar snow? Because Grandpa made sugar? asked Laura. No, said Pa. It's called a sugar snow because a snow at this time of year helps the trees to make more sap for the syrup. Then it was time for bed. By the time Laura and Mary had washed their sticky fingers and were snug into their beds, Pa and his fiddle were both singing them off to sleep. These are sugar maple trees in the fall, and here they are in the winter. So just like the story told us, this is where we get maple syrup and um, maple sugar from, from maple trees. The maple trees go to sleep in the winter, called being dormant, and when the weather warms up, the sap starts to flow through the tree. So people find a tree of a certain size, so they don't hurt the tree, and they make a hole in it, and they put in um, a little tap so that some of the sap will come out of the tree and come into a bucket. So we can see here where Grandpa's doing this, and we also see a photograph of someone tapping a maple tree. So Grandpa used a wooden bucket and a wooden tap, but nowadays people usually use this kind of tap and a modern bucket. But you can see the sap 
it looks just like water because it's not syrup yet. Usually nowadays also they put a little cover over the top so that um, leaves or twigs or nothing kind of goes in there. So a popular way to carry these buckets because they start to get heavy is with a yoke that goes over the shoulders and helps to balance the bucket. So you hold the bucket in your hand, but there is a chain to this yoke. And so it helps to support the weight of it because you really don't want to spill the sap all over yourself. And here's um, a color photograph because the other pictures are historical photos. So once you have the sap, you saw it was very watery. It takes a lot of boiling to get the sap to reduce. Reduce means that the water comes out of it. So just like if you're boiling soup or anything like that, the steam comes up. Well, for maple syrup, the, the sap that's being boiled, mostly the water part is going up in the steam and the sweet part is staying. And so a lot of times people might use more than one bucket as they're, this one's been boiling the longest and then this one so they can kind of keep moving it off. But a big chain helps to give them a place to boil these buckets of maple syrup. Now in the story, what they didn't talk about was sometimes you take the maple syrup and you might pour it out onto snow and then the hot syrup freezes on the cold snow and turns into like a little piece of candy. So that's pretty fun. I hope you enjoyed Sugar Snow. Please like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching Learn With Me, Mrs. Sullivan. Here's some more little house books that you might enjoy.